District 75 is the special ed district for New York City. Um, it is the largest special ed district in the world. The now people, Aldebaran, thought that we would be a perfect candidate for them um, here in the United States. The most challenging aspect of students with autism is the social interaction. Kids are all fascinated by Sonia, or now. They're engaged the whole time. Even when it's not their turn, they're waiting to be called. I see the language going up. Well, with Hennessy, the little girl who was there, because she was very quiet, she could speak before a little bit, but with Sonia, a lot of her spontaneous language came out. It's just an amazing thing to see this humanoid that I remember as a child was just something from fiction and now here it is and it's, it's adaptive to all the things that you would ever think of. What well, week day is today? Turn-taking has revolutionized in this classroom because of now. Generalizing skills that we've learned with Sonia has been big too. Sonia is good for making sure that the kids can actually use those skills in different settings. It's been very easy to navigate the interface and check things that you want or don't want. I guide the kids into making their own playlists by saying, okay, we're going to pick five activities. So which five? Some academic and then some rewards. Meanwhile, they don't realize that academic versus reward because it's all a lot of fun for them. It's very engaging, which means that if one of my assistants is out on lunch, I can still do meaningful work with my students. They're able to look at something, speak to it, and they want to be interacting with it. They're looking for social interaction with Sonia. The songs are really popular, like Soft Robot, and Dance Game is a favorite because they love getting up and moving. As a director of technology, we're always looking for breakthrough technologies. Their interactions are more as if they're talking to a, a human. They think Song is almost like a real student, except a lot more predictable, which makes it less stressful. When Sonia first came into our classroom, the kids were immediately captivated by her. The simplicity makes her much less threatening. A lot of the communication issues for students with autism comes from not being able to recognize or read human emotion. When the kids see Sonia, they don't have to read it, they just have to listen. Not every single student in the class has the same IEP or diagnosis, so we have a range of students when we talk about students on the autism spectrum. It really will impact different students in different ways, and I think our teachers are looking for that. They're really looking for a way to get to our kids. The Ask Now team has helped in the integration of the robot into the classroom. It was a very thorough job. I would like to see the robot in every classroom. It, it offers to the child an experience that I don't think they're going to get from a computer or even a tablet. You know, I think that you have to look at the robot and see how you can make it work for you. Our kids come powered up to school and they are already technology savvy. So I believe that students shouldn't be powering down, we should be powering up and meeting them. It doesn't have to be with uh, children of special ed or special needs. Uh, technology will broaden anybody's horizon and it's just another conduit for learning. As far as working with students with autism, Technology is so engaging across the board for them. This has kind of given them a way to practice the more human social aspects of technology. 